Hey everyone, welcome to Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ at the beginning of a new day and actually a whole new week. Like most of you, I am so mindful of all that is happening around us, sad things, important things, challenging things, meaningful things. As someone has said, we are living in a pandemic with the epidemic of racism along with the sickness of a failed healthcare system, unemployment, underemployment, economic disparity, and so much more. There is so much that calls us out to be people of faith and to live our lives toward the eradication of all that keeps God's beloved children oppressed, broken, living in an unjust world. A few days ago, our president stood in front of a church where he was not invited after violently clearing peaceful protesters, holding a Bible, our sacred text, by which we live our very lives as if it were a prop. I so long for him to open it up and to read from it the powerful words of our Judeo-Christian faith. Words like from Isaiah 1, 17, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Or from Micah 6, what does God require of you to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God? Or in the simple but yet challenging words of Jesus, love your neighbor. Well, that would have been brave, bold, compassionate, faithful leadership. And frankly, my friends, I long for such leadership in this day and in this most important time. And so it may just be up to all of us to become the leaders that we long for and to be bold witnesses to the faith we espouse a faith that one author who I will paraphrase has suggested, a faith that needs a crash helmet and signal flares because of its potency. So this week, I invite you to do the work that is required of us, to share the good news that there is neither Jew or Greek, there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male or female, for we are all one. And such a call to us demands a special, inspirational song that reminds us of the call to all of us for compassionate, engaged, meaningful leadership. When nine people were killed in a historic black church in Charleston, South Carolina in 2015, the nation grieved as one. And when President Barack Obama sang Amazing Grace during his eulogy for the Reverend Clementa Pickney, it was acknowledged as one of the most powerful moments of his presidency. Singer, songwriter Zoe Mulford was so moved that she wrote the song, The President Sang Amazing Grace. And we are so honored that Charmin will sing that for us now. A young man came to a house of prayer. They did not ask what brought him there. He was not friend, he was not a king, but they opened the door and let him in. And for and on the stranger stayed. He sat with them and he seemed to pray. But then In Charleston in the month of June, 
sing our own amazing grace as leaders as we seek to bring leadership to the world through our work toward peace, justice, and love. With thanks to Greg Taylor at the piano, Sharman Curtin, our vocalist, Elena Corrales on our camera today, and to all of you for being with us. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and we'll see you tomorrow.